Hello everybody! Welcome to my channel, Delightful Creations by Amber. I'm so excited. Today is the day I finally get to open up this gigantic yellow birthday mailbox that Miss Elka from Germany has mailed to me. And it is so big, I had to raise the camera up just to even show you the box. Um, and I flipped it over so you wouldn't see your addresses. I have not even opened it as far as tape or anything, so I'm just going to try to cut in here and open it up. And I, I don't know if the way I'm opening it, if it's going to be upside down. I have no idea. Um, so I'm going to turn it over and open it the way that the addresses were on the front as soon as I cut this open. So just give me a second here. She taped this really well and I'm super <laughs> excited. It's been sitting in my craft room and I mean, I have had some discipline. I've moved it around a couple times here and there and I'm just trying to see how in the world I should open this without showing you <laughs> her address or anything like that. I probably need a like box cutter, you know, but I'm using the scissors along the edge here. Okay. I think I, I think I, okay. I think we got somewhere. I'm going to have to oh, scoot my chair back. Okay. And, um, go into the corner here and I can already see butterfly, butterfly tissue paper, butterfly wrapping paper. Oh my goodness. I just want to I just want to rip this box. <laughs> okay. I don't want to cut anything that she put in here. Okay. I think we're getting somewhere. Okay. Yay! Now you can finally see what I see. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yay! I'm so excited. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is not an unpacking video for you guys here on camera. This is going to be very difficult. I'm going to... I gotta put something, hold on, let me block our addresses because I gotta set it down this way. Okay, so I just taped on some scrapbook paper, so hopefully that'll work. Um, I don't even know if I have enough room on my desk. I have stuff rolling out of here now. And um, so let's just see what we have here. So first thing that rolled out is, okay, yeah, I forgot German. I can't pronounce what any of this is. Uh, Non-food, right? Okay. Uh, 28 by 50. It's tool. It's tool. I can see what it is. It says tool there. Um, so yeah, tool band. So like, um, uh, it's really sheer type of like fabric type of stuff. Um, I do have, in fact, right here, right behind me, I just organized my tool. So it'll just, uh, it'll fit lovely in there with that neon pink and green that I have for some reason. It must have been my daughter's birthday party. Okay, that was the wrong thing to, to try to grab out of there. Oh my gosh, avalanche. Okay, I'm guessing this is my birthday card. So I'm going to open that up. Oh my gosh. Oh, how cute. It's a little um <laughs> gecko lizard thing with tropical flowers. There's a butterfly. So, so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh, it says, hello, my dear friend. I hope this happy package will be a lot of fun for you. Hugs and best wishes from me, Alka. And it says, happy birthday. And she stamped in there, you guys. Look at Oh, that's really cute. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, just the card alone. Just the card alone gets me. Oh, okay. I'm going to set it in the little box right next to me. And there's napkins. You guys, look. So there's like these really pretty Easter napkin, and then this is a really pretty floral napkin. There's more, there's like a ton of napkins in here, which is funny too, because I just organized my napkin drawer. Uh, I'm going to need napkin drawers now. We're going to need two. So pretty. And she sent me napkins last time that I haven't even used. I need to start using napkins. I think we need more lamination going on. Butterflies. Oh my gosh. There's a little note here that says this. This is an old map from, oh, we haven't got to the map yet. Hold on. Hold on, Elka. There's too much. Oh, look. They're like hand crochet little um, little ornament napkins. And this one feels really interesting. It feels really interesting. I don't know how else to describe. It feels like foam almost. It's a really interesting napkin texture there. It's not a normal. These ones are. 
a normal American type of napkin. Oh, these are really pretty. Elka girl, you you are just a picker of awesome things. This this is amazing. And here's some more. More napkins. Yes. Yes, raise your hand if you like napkins. Hit that like button. We have to do a bunch of napkin stuff now. Ugh, because I'm not going to be blowing my nose on these or wiping my hands. Super fun. Look at that really pretty floral there for spring. Goodness gracious. You are just a blesser. My goodness. Oh, I love this. So pretty. Ooh, and this is almost like, um, there's that map one. Oh, that probably goes right there. Um, berries and pine cones. This is more of like a fallish maybe type of napkin. So pretty. So let's take all these napkins. Thank you, Elka. Aw. And I'm going to set them, sadly, <laughs> on the floor because I have no room on my desk. I have no room. Okay, so let's see what rolled out of there. This is some other interesting netting. Oh, this would have been perfect on my mixed media project. The next one. The next one. This is going on there. We're doing some fun stenciling. This is This is awesome. Yes, very cool. Mixed media coming up in the near future. Okay, so Liz says, this is an old map from the 1970s from the district where I live. I marked the map where my house is. Oh my gosh. Ooh, cool. So should I open it up and show everybody where you live? I won't do that. Um, we'll just open it up and hopefully the first opening is not anywhere where her house is at. Oh, that's so cool. You know why? Because I don't have a lot of maps. Wolfgang. I can read that. Oh, that's so cool, Elka. I never would have thought to send a map and just, it's like an original map. It's so cool. That's so special. Oh, thank you. Hopefully the child will sleep because now we are in the thick of it. I don't know what else to pull out. And I love the wrapping paper. Oh my gosh. You don't even know. Okay, so this slid out and it looks like it's a little tiny notepad, sticky note of geometric shapes. And then it looks like some paper here. Oh, this will make some really fun journal pages. Journaling, drawing. Oh, that's so cool. I just don't know what fell out of here. And there's some more really cool paper. It's white and it has... Oh, wow. It has a fun texture to it. It's kind of translucent. I'm sorry for the glare of the camera. This is really interesting. Really smooth, silky paper. Kind of not waxy but it feels really cool in the hand that's really cool okay we're setting that down i'm going to move these off the desk so i have a little bit more space oh my goodness it's like the never-ending pile of things okay so these are on the top of the things that have fallen out i gotta sit up okay all right i can't read the i can read moment the best and um I'm going to have to answer the phone. Somebody's calling me, so I will be right back. I'm going to have to stop this video. I'll be right back. Okay, so maybe that's a little better for you guys. I raised you up and I locked you in. My phone is pretty hot. Um, it's what I use to record, so I may have to do a two-part video on here. So let's get rolling with it. We have some lovely packs of stickers here that are like three-dimensional chipboard. Super, super gorgeous. And then underneath of them, just some really pretty stickers. Um, some butterflies, or uh, a dragonfly, I mean, and like geometrical shapes, and lots of pretty, pretty pink colors, and like washy, really cool looking. Thank you. I'm so excited to have some supplies that are so pretty to play with. Oh, the little panda bear catches my eye right away. Some cactuses, selfie time, beautiful, do and itch, uh, no idea, gleek, gl oh, yeah. <laughs> I got a German dictionary research these, so I know what they are when I use them. Um, yes, I am that way. Um, girls just want to have fun. I think it's really cool that they have a lot of their words in English and then just a couple in in German. So that's that's really fun. I'm guessing that means like family, familiar, <laughs> and I'm guessing that's wonderful. Um, so it's it's it, okay, nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, and so it's really funny to see that kind of stuff. Here are some label type of things. I don't want to like go through and open up. I don't know if this is, is this like a pack of labels? Like chipboardy labels? Yeah. Okay. So there's multiple ones in here. So that's really cool. You can do some stamping. You can just write on those. That's really fun. 
It's just like, wow, wow, it just keeps going. So, oh, cute little camera. Oh, they're like little chipboardy type of, um, not chipboardy, little um, like sentiment things. You can like build little cards with, hello adventure. They're double sided. It's so similar to like Project Life type of stuff. Oh, such fun. Bucket list. Yay. And just a lot of different things. There's a frame back here. Look at this. Look how cool this is. Well, I mean, this one's cool too with this compass, but mountain frame. So fun. So fun. Just a lot of fun papers in here. Uh, where to go next? Explore. You know where I'm going next? Nowhere. <laughs> I'm staying home. I am a homebody. Um, you know, so that's kind of fun. If I can get that back in there without ripping it up. Get in there. It's all tangled up. Okay. One at a time. There we go. Be gentle. And then there's some stickers up here. There's a hot air balloon, some chipboard pieces. Oh my gosh. Just an incredible gift. An incredible gift. Everything so far I'm loving. Super excited to get to play with. And I gotta set it down here on the floor, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, now we have more more stuff. More of this. I mean, I'm... Goodness, girl. You could have just, like, given me a section. You didn't need to send me the whole roll. Like, my goodness. This one's really pretty. I do like the... Um, so I have green and pink now. I'm sorry. Green and yellow. Her favorite color, yellow. Um, not pink. I saw pink and I thought of this. This is not tool looking. I'm going to toss that down there. Um, this is like... Well, it says Reg Nutella. I don't know what that is. I don't even know what this feels like. I kind of want to open it and feel it, but I know we'll be here forever. Um, it's like stringy, textury. It would be fun to make like a wrap with, with things. Um, decorative. Wrap some gifts up in. And here's some more tool. This one is green. So fun. It's like a, like an olive green. So that'll be really fun for florals. And... Um, you know, like wrapping baskets, gifts, gift baskets and that kind of thing. And there's some ribbons here. There's a, wow. There's like a whole pack of ribbons. So I love the packaging too. Um, there's like gold cord, pink and pink and gold dots. So that's like a whole set. And then there's just this random floral one here, which is super pretty. And I believe that is hibiscus flower. So pretty. We used to have one of those and then it died. And then there's some more interesting looking cord here. Um, a light mint green, really pretty, and then just some floral. And that's really, really pretty stuff. And I like how they come in a set like this. Um, I'm, I may take them off because that takes up a lot of space versus my little uh, ribbon storage. But we'll see. Oh, there's some more. Some more interesting stuff here. Uh, so this is like lacy ribbon is what it looks like to me. Handmade with love. I even love the like spindle, the packaging of your guys' stuff there is so cute. You know, um, I'm not saying it's not cute here. It's just, it's just what I notice. And there's like this, um, I call this straw. I don't know what else to call this. It looks like we have maybe some Christmas type of colors here. So red, green, and uh, more of like a fall. I have no idea what to do with this besides decorate baskets. And I don't make a whole lot of baskets. So, um, got any ideas, let me know. Cause... I'm, I'm, I'm for a loss for words. I'm, I'm challenged by this. So definitely going to be doing some YouTube research on how to incorporate that. Besides, I know I could do some mixed media stuff, which I'm super excited to start. I'm really excited for that. So on the side here, there's some gorgeous little butterflies. Oh my gosh, look, they're like painted. Oh, they're so pretty. They're like wood painted butterflies. And these ones, um, Nope, these are wood too. I was going to say maybe they're plastic. Plasticky wood. Oh, so that's really pretty. Thank you so much. Anything with butterflies is, is amazing, right? Love that. Notice how I'm like setting the stuff I really like up here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this, those things roll and they got to go on the ground. And here's some really pretty fabric um, with some beautiful florals on here. And uh, wow, that's so cool. That's so cool. And it's again that stretchy. It's the same type of or feel of fabric um, that she sent me with the, the green one from before that I still haven't used. I haven't been able to bring myself to use it. Sometimes I don't take my own advice. I'm like, it's so pretty. Just use it. I'm like, but it's so pretty. I don't want to use it. <laughs> um, but I definitely will at some point. There's there's more napkins. Napkins galore in here. I have to turn my head. Oh, and stuff rolling out. So here's like um, colored 
oh my gosh, what is this? Uh, burlap, burlap type of stuff. And it's like orangey. So that's really interesting to see it dyed a different color. It's really fun. Really fun fall right there. I'm really excited about that. I'm getting ready to do uh, the fall journal. And then these are like what I would call like a Kleenex bag. Um, cause I have like one of these in my purse, but ours aren't colored. Mine is just white. Um, so that's really fun to see. And then some different style of napkins here. These are really gorgeous, gorgeous napkins. Oh my gosh. Isn't that cool? Oh wow. And then you open it up. Look. Oh, I love it. They're like cupcake cookie things. Oh, it's like a birthday napkin. Perfect. Oh, it's so pretty. And then these are lilies. These are lily flowers, um, lily of the valley flowers, so pretty. And then these are just pink, some scripty floral type of flor uh, flourishes, flourishes. And I love this wrapping paper. Holy smokes, that's so pretty. And another one, soft and sicker, right? 100% recycling, 10 in a pack. And so I don't know, I'm assuming that's the design on there. I don't really want to open it and find out, but I'm assuming that is the design on the actual napkin. So that's really neat. Really neat to see more napkins. Goodness, do you think I have a shortage on napkins? I don't anymore. There's plenty of nap. There's just napkins galore. Um, yeah, they're so pretty. Oh, see, there's another pack of the same kind. So cool. I mean, I gotta get some napkins going here. This is crazy, crazy, Elka. Just napkins galore. I don't. They're too pretty to blow my nose in them. Okay, so here's some really pretty purple ribbon. Um, and if this is like the last one she sent me, it's like sticky back like ribbony lace stuff. It's really pretty, really pretty dark purple. Oh, love it. Love it. And I found another little pack of hearts here. So cute. Oh, they're so cute. They're really dimensional. And I would probably use these on a journal cover or in an actual scrapbook because you know, I like my journals a little flatter. Oh, some washi tape. Look, look at how pretty that is. Cool. I love it. I love it. And that is, um, really fun there's some more um what is this here that's of course it's 20 meters that's that's great i think it's like oh my gosh burlap i don't know why i can't think of that darn name so it's like burlap again um it kind of smells like hay yeah kind of kind of like hay so that's really fun um i like you know when i did the burlap closure for the junk journal um, so that was a fun way to use it up. And then, um, I'm just liking the texture of it. I think it's a really fun texture to have. There's some more ribbons. Yay. So black and white cord, and then kind of like a, a beigey mauve and then some more florals. How pretty, how pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm trying, I'm trying to like hurry, but I'm also trying to enjoy what, what I'm opening because I don't know if my phone's going to cut off from getting too hot from filming, but some buttons that says groovy, some flowers, so fun. Like they look like they're hand painted. They could be hand painted. I don't, don't quote me on that. And so some more flowers, really dimensional, super pretty. I'm loving that. I might even take some, um, ink and go around the edge, like some pink ink or, uh, brown would look really cool. I'm already thinking about how to use it, yes. Some more burlap, this one is green. And more cord, I don't I don't know if cord is the right word to use for that, but a, a corded ribbon. And so there's silver and white, really pretty, really pretty. And that is gonna look gorgeous on a fall journal too. Not, I'm not too big on the, on, the, on the orange, honestly, but for fall, yes. Fall, like pumpkins and pumpkin spice and fall flowers. And this is red. So this is good for all kinds of holidays and flowers and, of course, fall. So she is just on it, planning. Oh, I, what in the world is this? Of course, I can't read it. I was pausing to see if the baby was crying. I wanted to say it was like... Open the case, slide one piece, soap, wash it together. Oh, it's like, like a, like soap, soap, like on the go soap. Like that's the way I would describe it. That's really cool. Not edible. Well, I wouldn't plan on eating it. I like the container. I thought it was going to be like a makeup or like a mirror or something. That's really cool. Like a, like, like sanitizer we would have, but it's not liquid. It's like papery and it probably dissolves in your hands. So cool. Here's some birdies. 
And I like how all of these have like really similar um, patterns. So you'll see the same type of accent in the middle of them. So you'll be able to use all of these together. It's really fun. And then some more little washies. So cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, I like the light pale pink. And then just that it's like a little bit of floral and then all over floral. That's a really cool set. Really cool. Probably said that like 80 times. I'm sorry. Ooh, what is this? This is daffodils and it's premium. I'm guessing it's sort of, well, because I'm looking at the picture of it and they have it in the tablecloth and they also have it like on the plate. And so I'm not sure if it's I'm trying to like feel it like a plate runner, like napkin paper type of thing is what I'm thinking. That's really cool. A roll of that decorative paper like tissue paper type of thing that's gonna be really fun to play with super excited okay you guys aren't gonna believe what else is in here who's gonna guess who's gonna guess you guess it yep napkins <laughs> you, elka you went napkin napkin shopping girl what in the world believe reach for the stars okay this one has a pull tab i'm i'm just gonna do it i'm just gonna pull open this now are these just like regular napkins or is it just pretty packaging okay okay so these are just regular napkins just just regular okay okay so maybe they aren't decorative maybe it's the packaging that looks cool but you know what we got kids we can be blowing our noses um in fact my um nine-year-old has a cold right now um, so that's really cool. And it has like an interesting texture on the edge. So I mean, you still can use it for crafting. But now that I know that they're probably not. Um, oh, now I, I'm never going to be able to get that back in there. I'm going to leave that one out. Okay, because I'm, I'm never going to get it back in there. Um, yeah, just pretty packaging. I think they might be, you know, I'm white at this point is what I'm thinking. So that's really cool. You never can have too many napkins, right? Like she thinks I'm going to be... Um, crying my eyes out maybe <laughs> I don't know I don't know but there's napkins galore but the packaging on it is just so cool yeah hugs and kisses and then gem gemple gemple and it's like tie-dye just so fun just so fun I hope you save some for your family um that you have plenty of of tissues for your own uh, nose and some more here um so this is like twine this is really fun this is green dark green almost like a hunter green. It's really pretty. Um, this will make a lot of fun closures, um, danglies. I could sew journals with this and, um, make tag toppers. This is really fun stuff to play with. I really like twine. Oh my gosh, gummies. My mouth is watering. Um, the last one she sent me were unicorns. Um, and they were so good. I even Googled them to see if I could even buy them. And I can, these are yummy, 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 yummy. Um, my, my sons will like these too. They, they really enjoy it. I had to share. I had to share them. But thank you. Thank you for the birthday treats. And oh yes, some little keys. And they do have purple on them. Which is funny because I just like went outside um, and I spray painted a couple of regular keys purple and like teal. So <laughs> we'll see that in a future video. Um, just for fun. I just thought, hey, let's try this. And it, and it worked. Okay, I'm going to pull out what I can reach here. This box, this box goes deep. We're almost, we're almost to a third of the way. We're about a third of the way. And I'm guessing these are paper clips, which are really fun. Met, yeah, I, yeah, I'm going to guess these are paper clips. So there's like a ring with a triangle and then like a little swoop de doop Yeah, that's really good English. swoop de doop Another little triangle one. Oh my goodness. Are these music notes? No way. Yes, they are. It's a treble clef. That is awesome. That is awesome. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a paperclip for sure. Oh, that is so neat. And I love the packaging. Not on that one, but on this. Look at the like, rainbows and hearts. Oh, so gorgeous. I'll be able to use this as a tag, like an actual tag when I'm done. Oh, thank you. I just have regular paperclips. So that's, that's pretty special. Oh, look at these. are gorgeous. Gorgeous. I, I, it says sticker, but I mean, it's almost like, I mean, they're metal, metally looking. And they have roses in the middle. This would have been gorgeous on um, the rose junk journal that's like sitting over here that I'm trying not to grab. And this is maybe 
Oh, they had, I was going to say, some sort of treat topper. So if this one says happy birthday and just for you, and you would put your little goodies in there, and it gives you everything in here to wrap it up and label it. How cool is that? How cool is that? It says you can make four, you can make eight of them. So there's four of each design. That's really neat. So it has some glassine bags in here or some sort of uh, bag you could use, plus the toppers. So fun. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll be crafting away with that. Forget packaging up goodies. Although I am getting kind of hungry. Okay, what else do we have here? Oh my heavens. Oh my heavens. There's like this massive napkin. Oh my gosh. Wow. I have never in my life seen a napkin this size. This is like placemat. This is like a placemat. I wouldn't even call that a napkin. That is so cool. Look at that. It's like really vibrant. Really vibrant. I think we could, we could do some cool stuff with that. That'll cover a journal. That I mean, it feels really cool too. That can be like a just page in a journal. Oh, that's so cool feeling. Thank you. Thank you, Elka. And some more. Ooh, we have 40% cocoa and limited edition. I like you a lot. I like a lot. I like a lot. Really limited edition. It kind of like has the, it's like broken apart in little pieces. It kind of reminds me of a Kit Kat. It's really heavy. Um, of course, I, I can't read much more about it. 100 grams. Um, it's making my mouth water. I just finished the other cocoa bar that you sent me. Um, it's really, really, I think it was like 80 or 85% cocoa. So it was like super bitter. So I had to eat it in little amounts of a time. Nobody liked that but me. Um, everybody tried it and nobody, <laughs> nobody cared for it but me. And these are peacock napkins. And again, they have that really fun texture. It's just, it's just a really interesting, interesting texture. And look how fun and pretty that is. Oh, I love the deep purple. I love it. And it almost looks like an owl, like an owl face right here. If you look just right there, look at owl. Um, so yeah, thank you. That's so fun. I am excited. I am just blown away. Um, I'm just blown away by everything here. It's just... It's just amazing. More napkin. Napkin. Yes. We have more napkins. We have more. Oh my heavens. Look it. It's a butterfly. Butterfly ribbon. Oh, so pretty. I'm going to have a hard time using that one. Some of stuff I won't. Some other stuff I'm like, yeah, you know, eh, it might be a little bit harder. Now this is cool. This is like, um, tool with some embossing. Oh, maybe I wonder if it would burn a tool with like embossing or like maybe even like stickily type of hearts on there that are gold. That's really cool. Really interesting. I like it. I like that. That's really, really cool. That'll be fun to play with for sure. And then we have some more. Okay. This is, um, like plastic. I'm going to call this like Easter grass. I don't know. I don't know if that's what you would call this, but it's kind of like Easter grass. Um, and there's a lot of it. There's a lot of it. So I'm going to have to figure out how to use this too. Um, yep. I'm, I'm pretty sure that, yep. Plasticky. So that's, thank you for challenging me as a crafter. Appreciate it. <laughs> thank you for thinking outside the box. Um, that's always fun. Like you see stuff and your, your brain starts working. How can I use that? How can I use that? You know, um, like this rain, white in the rain, in the rain, dance in the rain. Right, read all the words ever. Dance in the rain. There you go. Dance in the rain. So fun. And I love the florals on here. So I have two other packs of the same one. And I'm I'm really, really cool. Really cool napkins for sure. Yes. I am almost done. But there's another pile of napkins. Like she went napkin went to napkin city, I think, and just bought every napkin there was. Look, there's lemons. Lemons! Yay! And they're even in the shape of a... Oh my gosh! Look at how adorable that is! Ah, And it feels really cool, you guys. I just... I cannot stress that enough. It does not feel like a regular... Like what I think a regular napkin would feel like. Okay, and then there's this really pretty daisy field. Ah, oh, so gorgeous. With pops of purple and pink in there. Yeah, that's, that's really pretty. Oh my gosh, butterflies! I'm going to be making some napkin envelopes. Napkin pockets. Uh, yes. Napkin pages. Here's her favorite yellow, yellow, yellow. Oh, that's really pretty. That's really pretty. That'll make a fun, fun, um, pocket and stuff like that for summer journals. Oh, look at these florals. Aren't they gorgeous? You guys, 
I know people out there are drooling over napkins, and I didn't really understand it in the beginning. I'm not saying I'm napkin obsessed, but when you when you live somewhere where napkins are just so pretty, like I, you know, you could say I wish it was paper, or I wish it was fabric. Let's try to use it that way, you know, like let's try to incorporate it that way in our projects. Like that's what I'm thinking. I'm not just thinking about it being a napkin. This is super pretty, super pretty. I don't even care for that. I just like the background, you know, but that just makes it even more pretty. Yeah, sunflowers! Yay! My cousin will love that. My cousin will love that. There's even a butterfly. And maybe that's a ladybug. So pretty. So pretty. Look at all that. Yes, so cool. I see why you went napkin shopping. It's like me going paper shopping. Do you do you have a napkin collection, Elka? Or did you buy all these special? Like did you go hand pick these or is this like your napkin collection you're sharing with me. I mean, either way, just just asking. <laughs> just asking. Peacocks. Oh, I love the peacock cage. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. Who needs graphic 45 paper or any of that other name brand papers when you've got, you know, this sitting around? Like, come on. Gorgeous. Do some stamping on that. Yeah. Do some embossing, maybe. After we laminate, you know, there's a bee. So cool. I like that these are brown. And uh, this is like, you know, stark white. So I could try to coffee dye that. Uh, probably won't. It'll probably wreck it. But we could ink it. We could use some ink on there to tone down that white. And then here's like a, a silver type of, not silver, but um, a hint of gray in the background. So fun with a jar of flowers. Who doesn't like flowers for their birthday? Elka, you got me like every flower out there. Every flower imaginable. This is kind of like watercolor flower. It's really pretty. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm starting to lose my voice and I don't have anything down here to drink. Watercolor napkins. And I'm like, ah, oh, yes. So pretty. Journal covers. Like, I am pouches. We're going to have some napkin tutorials, you guys. And like, just fun with napkins and just holy moly gorgeousness. Okay, we won't re look back at them. I'm going to set them off to the side here. I'm almost to the end of the box. Almost to the end. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all this back in there, which is a good thing because it needs to find a home that is not inside a box. So there is a couple more things. So here's like a little kit for this means for you. Oh, thank you for telling me for you. Oh, oh, and oh, I love it. Look, oh, so cute. And I love your handwriting. It's so cool that you can write in English. I find that just amazing. So pretty. I just, ah, ah, love it. I love it. I'd like to see stuff that you create. Um, I know you don't make, um, don't have a lot of time for making, but I would love to see some of the stuff that you make. Gorgeous stuff that you have there. So these are like little tags and paper clips and twine and little bit blingy, bling, blingish bits. That's what I'm going to call them. And this is like jingle bells. Oh, we could actually just, yeah, see, look. Like little jingle bells. And this is like a bow on it. It almost reminds me, I mean, they are jingle bells, but it like almost looks like a dog bone. But they're bell, uh, bows. So here's those blingy bits there. They're like, I almost said psychedelic, but that's holographic. There we go. <laughs> holographic. So pretty. So pretty. Oh my goodness. Ah, I'm so excited. Thank you. Of course, I'm not going to be able to play with this for quite a while. Some of it. Some of it I'll be able to play with right away. Like I said, I'm getting ready to make some, some fall journals. So, And then there's two more things down here on the very bottom. And, wow, this one is a gigantic long doily. It says something, ash paper day. There's 30 pack. Um, and they're really long rectangle. Really interesting shape on there. Yeah, that'll be really cool. Like, fold that into thirds or fourths, even in a journal, and have a flip out, do it, you flip out. So, wow. Look how big this is. This is gigantic. What, are you, what am I going to do with this? Wow. That is so cool. And it's like even got birthday cake on there. <laughs> um, which, which is what you're supposed to do with it, you guys, right? You're supposed to put your cake on there, and it looks pretty on your little platter when you serve it up. And so that is really special. Thank you so, so much, everybody, who stopped by and watched this unboxing. And there is a ton of this really pretty, um, I almost said scrapbook, wrapping paper in here that I'm going to pull out because she didn't attach it. So I'll be able to use that in a journal for sure. 
Thank you so, so much, Elka, for making my birthday a wonderful, wonderful day. And um, to everybody else who says happy birthday, thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. And we'll talk to you guys really soon. Bye-bye.